This video is brought to you by MathGalaxy.com. This is our fractions program which covers these topics and in this video we'll be looking at adding fractions with different denominators. To add fractions the pieces have to be the same size. So here the pieces are eighths and here the pieces are halves. So if one denominator is a multiple of the other, you can use the larger number as your common size. So here we can convert both of these to eighths. So three eighths is already where we need it. Uh, so halves, so from halves to eighths is times 4, so 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, so now the pieces are the same size and we add the number of pieces. 4 plus 3 is 7. If one denominator is not a multiple of the other, then you have to look for a common multiple. So fifths can be converted to tenths, fifteenths, and so on. And the first of those that halves can be converted to is tenths. Okay, so to go from a whole of five pieces to a whole of ten pieces, the multiple is two. So the two pieces are multiplied by two to get four. And halves to tenths, the multiple is five. Five times one is five. Okay, and if we add the pieces, uh, they total to nine. Let's try another one, fifths and sixths. If you multiply the denominators, they will give you a common multiple not necessarily the lowest, but in this case it is. 5 times 6 is 30. So to get from fifths to thirtieths is 6 times, 6 times 2 is 12. To get from 6 to thirtieths, the multiple is 5, 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, now the number of pieces, 25 plus 12 is 37. Okay, and now we need to simplify the fraction, to make it a mixed number, one group of 30, one whole, seven remainder, and those pieces are still thirtieths. When adding mixed numbers, you can add the fractions separately from the whole numbers and then combine the subtotals. So here, fifths can be converted to tenths, fifteenths, and twentieths, which is also a multiple of four and two. So twenty is a common denominator here. And going from five pieces in a whole to twenty pieces in a whole, the multiple is four. So the 4 times 4 is 16. And going from a whole of 4 pieces to a whole of 20, the multiple is 5. So the 1 piece is also multiplied by 5. And from halves to 20th, the multiple is 10. 1 times 10 is 10. Okay, so we have a total of 15 plus 16 or 31 pieces. Now to simplify this, uh, we have one group of 20, which gives us one whole, 11 pieces left over, and the size of those pieces are 20. So that's the total of our fractions. Now the whole numbers, 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 5 is 13. Okay, now we have to combine the holes. 13 plus 1 is 14. So the answer is 14 and 11 twentieths. 
In those examples, it was pretty easy to find a common denominator by finding uh, a common multiple of all the denominators. For example, if you're looking for a common denominator, a common multiple of 18 and 24, you just lay out multiples of them till you get a common one. Sometimes it's easier to start with the larger one. So twice 24 is 48, but that's not a multiple of 18. 3 times 24 is 72, which is a multiple of 18. So a common denominator of 18 and 24 would be 72. But another way to do that is with prime factors, which is called uh, the least common multiple. So for example, you could factor 18 into 2 times 9, and then 2 times 3 times 3, and 24 into 3 twos and a 3. And if you line them up, you see to be a multiple of 18, the common multiple has to have factors of 2, 3, and 3. And to be a multiple of 24, it needs 3 twos and a 3. Well, we already have a 2 here from 18, and we have a 3 here from 18. So the only thing we need to add are two twos to be a multiple of 24 also. So looking for least common multiple, if you line them up like this, and you just take uh, the common ones without duplicating them, and then multiply them, you get the least common multiple. The three twos multiply to eight. Three times three is nine. Eight times nine is 72. So that would be the least common multiple and uh, another way of getting a common denominator. As another example, what is the least common multiple of 18 and 12? So it's 36. So if we factor 18 in the primes, it's, we need a 2 and 2 threes to be a multiple of 18. To be a multiple of 12, we need 2 twos and a 3. OK, so we already have a 2 and a 3. So the only thing we need to add to be a multiple of 18 is another 2. So 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18 times 2 is 36. So the least common multiple and common denominator is 36. The 2, 3, and the 3 make it a multiple of 18. And this 2, that 2, and that 3 make it a multiple of 12. As another example, what is the least common multiple of 90 and 36? Well, it's 180. If we factor 90 into primes, we get a 2, two threes, and a 5. And 36 factors into 2 twos and 2 threes. So to be a multiple of 90, we need these in yellow. And to be a multiple of 36, we need two twos and two threes. Well, we already have one two and two threes, so we only need to add a two to be a multiple of 36. And if we multiply those together, we get a least common multiple of 180. The program has two modes. One mode talks you through problems step by step. The other only asks for the final answer. And if you exit in the final answer mode, you get a score, which you can also print. And this little creature here is a robot. You earn a robot for each problem that you do that you can use in a maze game called the Labyrinth. So this is an example of one of the mazes. So you're guiding a robot, trying to collect the treasure and getting out, whoops, and trying to get out safely. So another example. OK, 
Okay, so, and the screen may look a little compressed vertically. And that's because of how the video is being recorded, but in the game it's a little more uh, square and symmetrical. So another example. So. Another game that comes with the program is a riddles game that's like Wheel of Fortune, where you can have up to three players. For example, here the riddle is why did the elephant paint herself different colors? So you can choose to, uh, or you can try to solve the riddle at the beginning or end of each turn. So player one, let's guess a letter. So A is three-fourths plus three-fourths, six-fourths, which is one and a half. So A should go there. And let's pass on to player two. Let's see, E is one-half plus one-eighth. So one-half is four-eighths plus one-eighth is five-eighths. So E goes there. So you can continue on trying to guess letters. And if you get to a point where you think you can solve the riddle, it's like here, why do the elephant paint herself different colors? Let's say to hide in the crayons. Okay, so it looks like that worked. And another game is called Bridge the Swamp, where one player, red, is trying to build a bridge in this direction, green is trying to build a bridge in this direction, and the first player to complete, to complete their bridge and block the other player wins. So here red goes first. Say that red wants five. So those two should add up to five. And let's say green wants to block with 13 and a quarter. So five and three fourths looks like it'll give a, an extra quarter with a half. Five and seven are 12. So it looks like it'll work. So those are examples of the games that come with the program. This has been a review of adding fractions with different denominators. If you want more practice and review, you can go to mathgalaxy.com. Thank you for listening.